Okay, we're going to talk about stabilizing the pistol. Okay? Keep in mind, when the cartridge fires, it generates recoil. The pistol, specifically the 1911, is recoil operated. Something you always need to consider. Okay? When the pistol fires and the slide comes to the rear, okay, people have a tendency to overly focus on this action here. But I want you to watch the slide in the pistol when I let go and you'll see what happens. There is inertial energy that is being created there as well. So the pistol, if you're holding it loosely, it's actually chugging back. I'm over exaggerating, but the pistol actually chugging back and forth if you're holding it loosely or you're not stabilizing the pistol properly. We're going to look at stabilizing the pistol with both hands. Keeping in mind, when you have an opportunity to fire with both hands on the gun, you increase your hip probability. Firing the pistol in the right hand, keep in mind, energy wants to travel away from the mass of your right hand. So I know when I'm firing right-handed, the pistol is going to want to rise up and away to the left. When I'm firing the pistol in my left hand, I know the energy is going to want to move away from the mass of my left hand, so it's going to move up and away to the right. Well, it's my responsibility to stabilize the pistol, manage not just recoil energy that's generated, but the feeding action of the slide as well, going forward to feed chamber and lock that follow-on cartridge. Let's take a look at stabilizing the pistol with both hands. If I'm stabilizing the pistol properly, I should have a nice flat recoil track. And what I mean is you should not see the pistol chugging back and forth like that. Let's just take a look at it. Okay. <clears throat> now we're going to take a look at, I'm going to tip the fire to, at the same pace but right hand only. Keep your eye on the pistol. Okay. Again, I'm going to attempt to fire at the same pace with a pistol in the left hand. Managing recoil as well as managing the inertial energy of feeding, chambering, and locking is critical to stabilizing the pistol. I'm not just holding the pistol with my hand. Whether I've got both hands on the gun, right hand, or the left hand, I'm stabilizing the pistol with my entire body. I've got good isometric tension in my arm, my shoulder, my elbows extended. It's just something that you have to work with. If you try to overstabilize the pistol and really aggressively prevent the pistol from operating, then the energy that's created by the pistol is going to be harder to manage than if you're much more being aggressively relaxed and managing the energies that are created. 